Okay, hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, I'm really excited to be here with all of you. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that is always on my mind and always I'm sure on many, many people's minds. Um, as you know, living today in the United States can be quite expensive and I always think about what are some ways in which I can reduce my expenses, right? To save money for a rainy day um, so that I have money left over for retirement, so that I have money uh, to travel, so that I have money um, to spend on the things that I want, right? Um, and so today I'm going to talk about some of the ways that over the years I have uh, figured out um, to save money fast anywhere from $100 to $1,000 a month, right? Um, so I'm going to share those 10 easy ways with you. And in fact, as I was coming up with my list, I think I actually have a bonus one. So it's actually the list is 11, but I'm going to share 10 with you and one is a bonus. Okay. And the first easy tip um, that actually my husband <laughs> kind of got me on this one. He's the one who who, who told me all about this one and got me hooked, is to open up free checking accounts and maintain a balance in those checking accounts in order to get the bonus. So banks all over the United States, Bank of America, Flushing Bank, Chase Bank, Capital One Bank, you name it, they want our business, right? They want us to invest with them, to put our savings accounts and our checking accounts with them. And so many times they will offer a bonus for you to uh, put your money in their bank, right? Uh, to open up a checking account. And so periodically, when I get the little uh, letter in, in my mailbox, the little postcard, or sometimes I look for them, right? I look for them, I go online, I say, Who, who's offering a bonus right now? And I'll go and open up a free checking account, maintain a balance, and sometimes the balance is $25, sometimes they want $100, sometimes they want $500, whatever the balance is, um, and I obtain the bonus, anywhere from $150 to $500, depending on how much uh, you put into the account, um, and maintaining that balance for... Um, two to three months, usually 90 days is what they require. So an easy, easy way to make some extra cash and it goes right into your checking account um, and it's easy, easy, easy. Um, really, there's almost no work involved. <laughs> um, so I definitely give you that, that one as a first tip. The other thing is all of us have clutter, all of us have things we are no longer using, all of us are, have things that we want to um, get rid of. Um, so if the item is in good condition, right, and something that you know other people will use, sell your spare items on Facebook Marketplace. Don't be greedy, <laughs> don't ask for too much, right? But you'd be surprised um, how you can make room in your house by selling um, or your apartment um, by selling some of your used and loved items on uh, various selling sites. Um, so you really can do that quite easily. Another uh, fun little tip that I have for you is to open up a Fetch Rewards account. So a Fetch Rewards account is free. You put the app right on your phone, um, and the way it works is you go out and you do your normal um, grocery shopping or your normal shopping at CVS, and there's hundreds of items on it that will gain you points, right? So I'll go to the supermarket, I'll, pour, I'll purchase some, um, some um, cereal, I'll purchase some milk, I'll purchase some butter, I'll, whatever it is that's on my list, normal, regular grocery list. Then I come home and I scan my receipt. And when I scan my receipt, it'll give me points. Anywhere from five points to a thousand points, two thousand points, depending on what I purchased. And those points uh, get tallied up. And then when I'm ready, right now I have easily about $50 in there, I'm in gift cards. When I'm ready to to use them, I will um, take my my gift cards and the points that have accumulated, and I have an extra fifty bucks, hundred bucks, one hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred dollars, whatever it is um, that you're able to do. But it's really again, it's like found money because you really haven't done anything. You're just scanning your receipts that you for things that you're already paying for. Okay, so that we have 
one, two, three. We're up to number four. This has been, again, something that my husband kind of got me um, to start doing, and I started doing this years ago. But I really, over the years, it has saved me so much money. Open up credit cards. Um, or apply for credit cards that allow you to earn points and miles towards travel or offer cash back. Great, 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 great cost savings. So again, it's your regular credit card bill that you normally, things that you're spending on anyway. If you're going food shopping and you're using your credit card to pay for it, um, you went to Kohl's and you purchased a new pair of shoes and used your credit card to pay for it, right? All of those uh, expenditures will earn you points. And then depending on how much you spend, you'll be accumulating those points. Uh, and then you can redeem them when, the, when you're ready for miles uh, or for, in some cases, cash back. So it's really a great, great way um, to earn money passively right and if you take that and you kind of save it for a rainy day um there can be a day there can be a year or a month and you know a month or two where you're not really paying a credit card bill because you have the points there to redeem or if you're traveling and you're buying those airline tickets you're not paying as much for your airline tickets or at all because you have the points there ready to redeem it so if you're not earning points on your credit cards, I suggest that you close the credit cards you have right now and find those credit cards. You can easily Google them, American Airlines, um, Delta, all kinds of different different um, credit card options that are out there. Chase Sapphire, uh, in which you can open up the credit card and then use the points that you earn um, from you know, from expenditures, um, from the money you spend, um, to then later on redeem them. And again, you know, if you are using credit cards, do not let those interest rates get you. Make sure you're living within your means. Make sure you have enough to pay your credit card every, every month so you're not paying interest. If you do get into a situation where you need a couple of months, make sure that you transfer, um, the amounts from your high interest credit cards to a zero balance credit card. This is a bonus tip. It wasn't on my list, but it just came to me and so I'm telling you. Okay, always when you're trying to save money, you have a goal in mind, you wanna save 10,000 by the end of the year, you wanna save 15,000 by the end of the year, you wanna save 5,000 by the end of the year. It's always good also uh, to think about how you can earn some additional income and that might be um, some part-time work. Whatever it is that, that you enjoy doing that you might want to do a couple hours a week extra uh, on the side and then you take that money from your part-time work and you apply it towards your savings. Don't spend it, save it. Okay, the next tip, I think we're up to number six. And this one I learned from... Uh, the wonderful Duggar family, um, I'm counting on. I'm a fan of theirs. Um, and anyway, they've always said over the years to buy used and save the difference. And over the years, I have started doing that, especially with children play sets and children toys. Um, kids, you know, they <laughs> they grow up so fast that, you know, really you're spending hundreds of dollars on things and then sometimes even thousands of dollars on things and then they barely use them. So especially with play sets and things that are outside, I try to buy used. They're usually in great condition, perfect condition. I've saved hundreds of dollar, dollars doing that. Um, I bought a play, site, a play set for the backyard. It was a little tykes play set that if you buy for regular price it's about five hundred dollars i bought it used it was in great condition i paid 150 um, another little roller coaster play set uh, regular price it's a hundred i think i paid about 40 um there was another play set and i think they gave that to me just for buying some of their stuff you know so <laughs> definitely when you can buy used and save the difference tip number six not mine, it's not original to me, it's from the Duggars. Okay, tally up number seven, tip number seven, tally up your monthly expenses and see which ones you can eliminate or reduce. That's a very important tip. 
Um, there are a lot of things that I used to pay for, a lot of services that now I, I do myself, right? So think about how many times you go to the salon, perhaps, or how many times you get your, your manicure and pedicure, or how many times um, you're paying for movies, uh, online movies, or how many times um, you're overspending on your cell phone bill, right? So kind of tally up your monthly expenses and see which ones are redundant, right? Perhaps you already have a service um, somewhere else that that's providing you the same thing you don't need to pay two bills for it or see which ones you can eliminate completely hey I don't need this right which ones you can reduce and say hey maybe I can go from doing this five times a month to one time a month and again you take that money and save it don't spend it don't find other things to spend it on save it make sure you set a goal and you figure out how much you want to spend at the end of the year it actually gets exciting to save and the more you save the more you want to save so you're going to want to see that number increasing it's a lot of fun okay my next tip tip number eight is to cook at home breakfast lunch dinner as much as you can you know that morning coffee that soda that latte that lunch special all of those things hey they're great treats and you should definitely do it but i would say as much as possible the more that you can reduce those expenses and cook at home you will see your wallet grow you will see your savings account grow right so for example um, about two years ago i was working and i realized i was buying breakfast and lunch out i said you know what i'm not gonna buy lunch out anymore quickly that saved me an easy $50 a week. $200 a month didn't really change my lifestyle at all. Just changed one meal that I was having per day and switched it for something else. Okay, shop at discount stores and use coupons. Yes, I love discount stores, all kinds of discount stores. Make sure you use your coupons. Stores will honor all kinds of, of coupons. Um, retail me not all kinds of you know just make sure you have those coupons 20 30 40 percent 10 percent um really important there's no reason to pay top dollar most places have coupons make sure you have your coupons with you or they're on your phone and compare prices before buying right sometimes something looks like it's a great price but you can you can get it a lot cheaper somewhere else so make sure that you have your spots for the different things that you're purchasing, whether it's laundry detergent, toilet paper, um, shampoo, that you kind of have compared prices and you know um, where your good sales are. And then last but not least, ask for discounts and coupons everywhere. Do not be shy. Just say, hey, do you have a coupon for this? Is there a discount for this? Yesterday, I went into a store to purchase shoes. The shoes were all really expensive. For me anyway, maybe <laughs> they're, not, they're not name brand shoes, but they're, you know, comfort shoes. And everything was about $100. And I said, hmm, so I don't think this is really in my price range. Do you have anything for like $50 or $60? And the cashier and the lady helping me went right to the back, brought up brought out a bunch of styles and I ended up buying two pairs for the price of one, right? So don't be afraid to ask. Most people will honor it. Um, you, you know, Kohl's, Target, um, TJ Maxx, wherever it is that you are, Macy's, right? Most cashiers have coupons there waiting for you. All you need to do is say, hey, do you guys have a coupon for today? And You'd be surprised. Everyone has coupons and they will share them with you. So those are my tips. Hope you enjoyed my tips. Happy saving. Wishing you lots of luck. Make the most out of it. And I hope these tips help you. Enjoy the day.